My wand! The King of Thieves got it for me during my mage training. He and the other rats have been tirelessly helping to rebuild the city in recent months. They work closely with the Archmage, albeit mostly in secret. I still haven't figured out exactly how it works. Sometimes it performs the most amazing magic, sometimes it can't even perform the simplest of tasks. Archmage Alistair has promised to have a look at it sometime. Maybe it has a loose connection or something. Mages use balls like this to communicate over long distances. Master Marcus explained it to me. He'll know how I can tame those unruly students. But Master Alistair said there are very few mages left, and I had completed mage training faster than anyone else. I was the right person for the job. I wanted to help and learn more about magic, so I agreed. Hopefully that was the right decision. I wouldn't want to disappoint Master Alistair. My whole family stayed in the White Ridge Mountains. Why would they even want to come to Seastone? This isn't their world. Little Sydney can walk now and reach everything that's on the workbenches. That tripled her invention output. Maggie doesn't build battle robots anymore since the war is over. Now she's experimenting with computing machines, but Grandad said there's no future in it. These are the aviator goggles that my Grandad gave me before my first trip to Seastone. Well, a pair of aviator goggles. The original pair was lost when Grandad fired me out of the cannon. The teddy is just, uh, you know, a keepsake and some moral support from home. Soft and cuddly moral support. The bed is pretty cozy. It's so cozy that Friedlin is curled up in it. But that's okay. Friends share. And he lets me sleep at the foot end. This is Friedlin, my rabbit sheep. I had to cast the transformation spell during my mage training. And this is the result. A bowl of fresh, cool water for my roommate. There's no way I'm taking a bowl with me. I mean, how am I supposed to put a bowl of water into my pocket without getting my robe soaking wet? It's not like I can just carry anything around. Hmm, but I could use the bowl here in the room. Do you want some water, Friedlin? He seems to be hungry more than anything. The entire school building is a bit scary. No one knows exactly where it was the last 20 years. It disappeared overnight and then reappeared just as suddenly once the war ended. There's a lot of magic in these old walls. The stove is always on, for example, and even though I've never put any wood in it, Master Marcus and the Archmage were so busy rebuilding the city that no one had the opportunity to teach me anything about teaching. This box was in a shop window down in the city. I thought it might be useful. After all, there are children with magic wands on it. But unfortunately, it just seems to be a bunch of those tricks. Like that old one from Mr. Bubbleman, the top hat and the rabbit. A short white rope, a pair of dice, playing cards and a guide on how to lead people up the garden path. That's just not right. Real magic or none at all. Do 
Do you want some water? <coughs> he seems... A mad... I can't remember Master Marcus's number. I had it written in my notebook. Unfortunately, Friedlin doesn't... Ow! That stone is definitely more than just warm. Remember, Master, I had it written up. Okay, we'll do it like this. I'll give you some delicious pet food, and you give me my notebook back. Okay, buddy? Right, me first. Okay, now give me my notebook, please. Hey, I thought we had a deal. Hmm, maybe I can lure Friedlin away from my notepad. That's it, that's all there is. Hey, Friedlin, look, food. All you have to do is hop over here and get it. Wow! My rabbit sheep has superpowers. But now the food is gone and Fiddlin is still hungry. Ah, no wonder I didn't do it right. It says, space-saving instant dry food. Soak in water before feeding. Then maybe we could talk about my notebook. <coughs> Oops. Um. Ah, uh, I'll um. I'll read the instructions next time. Promise. Sorry. It says, Master Marcus, only in emergencies, 64179. This is definitely an emergency. I'm losing my students' respect before I even had it. Well, 6417 and, um, 9. Hopefully this will work this time. Yes? Hello? Master Marcus! Wilbur, what is it? Well, there's this boy who's naughty and cheeky and he doesn't listen to me. Wilbur, you're a teacher now. Of course the students are naughty and outrageous. You have to assert yourself. I've only been a teacher for a few days and I'm all alone. And the school is eerie, and there's no textbooks, and no one wants to learn anything, and... Wilbur, no one expects you to be the perfect teacher right away. Wake your students' enthusiasm for magic. That would be a good start. How can I inspire my students? I don't know anything about the history of magic. Obviously not. Otherwise you would know that you'll never attract anyone with that subject. But it's in the curriculum. Oh, bugger the curriculum. Do what you're good at. Cast spells. 
Fill them with wonder. Make them want to be able to do the same. But, but I, I don't know how. Wilbur, you conjured a sheep out of a hat, and you didn't know how to do that either. Go out there and knock them dead. Let the magic do the work. You may not know what you're doing, but you're doing it. Just do some magic. Just do some magic. Your brother called me a natural talent. I am really quite good at magic, right? You did some incredible things during your training. I just wish I could control the magic better. Sometimes it just bubbles out of me and other times, nothing. Mm, I think that will come with time. And if not, you will have to rely on your ingenuity. Why do I have to teach here all alone? Why aren't there any other teachers? Many majors died during the war. There were only a few of us left. And most of those who survived are now pursuing more lucrative activities. Alchemy, ghost hunting, children's birthday parties. But, but training new mages is important. If the rest are just out for the gold, then who will take care of the next generation? Being a teacher is an important and honorable task, Wilbur, even when others fail to appreciate that. such an important task, why aren't you teaching at this school? Uh, politics. My brother is the Archmage, and he's in the middle of an election campaign. If he were to give his own brother a job, well, his opponents would just love that. But I'm not angry. I did my part. I trained mages when no one else would. And I found the most talented gnome mage the world has ever seen. Apparently there was a powerful gnome mage a long time ago. Did he kill any dragons? According to legend, the last of the great dragons, Grema, was defeated by a gnome. That's the one I mean. What, what was that gnome's name? No one knows. He arrived at a time of great need and saved the people of the Southlands by accomplishing the impossible. Then he disappeared without a trace. Wow. But one of my students asked me for his name. Then he probably wanted to lead you up the garden path. Some students want to find your weaknesses and see how far they can go. Don't take any guff. Thanks for your help, Master Marcus. I'll get through the lesson one way or another, and now I'll get back in touch, OK? Uh, sorry, but no, Wilbur. You caught me packing. I'm off to spend two exciting weeks with a couple of friends. What, you... you, you got on vacation? Well, now? Maybe it's more than just a holiday. I sold the mage school, as you know. I want to start something new. Finally do what I really want to do. Role-playing games. Role-playing games? Live role-playing games. They start in a few days. We leave the normal world of magic, monsters and dungeons behind and immerse ourselves in a fantasy world. I play a removals contractor who is caught in a traffic jam with his truck and must therefore spend a night in a motel. Can you imagine what adventures could be waiting there for me? But... I thought being a teacher was really important, and... That it is! Have fun! That's Marcus! Hello! <sighs> the way he looks at the moment, he could give Bertram the world's fattest hamster a run for his money. But he'll get back to normal. A short nap and he'll be right as rain. That's when I found out Grandad has a whole box of these goggles. Every time he tries to persuade some idiot to do something stupid, he makes a rousing speech and then hands over his old aviator goggles. This is the oldest shoe I've ever seen. It's so old it's even lost its ability to stink. Strange. There's paper in the bottom of the shoe. Oh, maybe the shoe has a hole in the paper it's supposed to protect the wearer from getting wet feet. Hmm, it's a sheet from a book. It's folded in the middle and printed on both sides. That equals four pages. It wasn't torn out. It looks more like a bluey. Come on, Wilbur. You can do it. You can inspire your students.
That's better. So what about the magic runes? No one knows the name of the gnome that defeated Grandma. Nice try. Feet off the desk, or I'll make it bite them off. Ah, enough with history of magic. Let's cast some spells. Fairy games doesn't sound bad, right? Impossible! Not bad, eh? Wow! That is magic. And here you can learn how to control it. That's it for today. Tomorrow we'll do something else. Honey, get rid of that, will you? I need a word with Mr. Weathervane. Mr. Weathervane, nice to finally meet you in person. And you are? <laughs> How very precious. I rather thought it'd be wise to watch out for you, Mr. Weathervane. Um, why watch out for me? You only play the innocent little country yokel. I always knew that. Your patron, Archmage Alistair, will not win the election against me. Did you know that we're only three points behind him in the latest polls? Um, no, I, I wasn't aware of that. How may I help you? Help me? <laughs> One of the Archmage's top men wants to help me. <laughs> you know how the game is played, don't you, Weathervane? What what game? Things are heating up. The house of cards is starting to collapse. I know it, and Alistair knows it too. We both lie low, waiting for the other to make a mistake. And he has made the first. I'd rather play solitaire, or can I just watch? Huh, well said, Weathervane. This time, there can be no spectators. Everyone is either for us or against us. This time, it's about the future of this town and the entire country. I think you have me confused with someone else. But you're pretending to be someone else. Just you wait till I'm leader of the Alliance. I know who my friends are and my enemies. Am I a friend? <laughs> what mistake did the Archmage make? He hired you. A gnome with a faith diploma issued by none other than the Archmage's brother Marcus. I earned my diploma honestly. I have passed all three of the exams and... Gnomes know nothing of magic. Everyone knows that. And you've never taught before. But, but Archmage Alistair believes in me. As the head mage, he appoints the professors. But I'm the merchant council leader and I assign the administrative posts. Headmaster Block will reveal your incompetence and the newspapers will report on the Archmage's dubious personnel policy before the election. You shouldn't have just shot my fairy. <laughs> Do not underestimate me, Mr. Weathervane. I am very well aware that those are not fairies. Cobalus Vagastus, flying kobolds. Don't tell me you conjured them up yourself. Yes, I did. All five of them. Amazing. Powerful magic is needed to manifest living creatures. That is why most necromancers only reanimate skeletons. Dead matter can be much more easily controlled, as of course you know. Or should know. My friend, Archmage Alistair, is better suited to bring the city and the country back into shape than anyone else. Oh, you believe that? 
He is a great mage. Anyone who doubts that is mad. And he was a great leader during the war, most of the time. But what we need now is someone who understands the economy. And that's you? I am a rich and successful merchant. I have rich and successful friends. Who could be better suited to making others rich and successful? Alistair would step down for you if he believed that. You know what? I actually believe you're right. Strange, isn't it? How little he worries about defending his power. The new headmaster? Who is he? Horatius Block. A good man. Very correct and very strict. If, if he can help this school return to its former glory, I look forward to working with him. Former glory? This old ruin, it was already run down back in my day. And wherever it was for the last 20 years, it definitely looks like they didn't have any cleaners. So I guess it's all been said, hasn't it? Indeed. You're on a sinking ship, Withervane, but I could still be convinced to throw you a life preserver. I trust the Archmage. Then, Mr Weathervane, you shall perish with him. Here, elect Sybil Van Buren. She knows how to get it done. Come along, honey. We're leaving. There aren't any of these in my book of fairy tales, Mama. I know, honey. Who wants to look at something that ugly? Can you turn him into a unicorn? Or the Cheshire Cat? Or the Frog Prince? I don't think the Archmage even has brochures like these. No posters or town criers or plays. Either he lacks the gold or he doesn't want to conduct his election campaign in this manner. I don't know exactly why the council leader left the brochures lying here. It was agreed that children can't vote. First, they wanted to base eligibility to vote on size, which of course led a resistance among us gnomes and the dwarves. And then they said weight should be decisive. The more you weigh, the more weighty your vote. But then the trolls and ogres would have been overrepresented. In the end, they agreed on a minimum age. However, there are still arguments because rats, undead children and other minorities can never vote. It didn't let me down this time, though. It worked even better than I expected. It was like it wanted to conjure. I could hardly keep it under control. Hmm, unusual. This device looks more like ordinary engineering than it does magic. Eh, most magical devices have lots of golden parts, elaborate decorations and bells and whistles, just the way the mages like them. This one could easily come from a gnome workshop. Teachers are traditionally paid in apples. I got this one myself, because I didn't want to spend my first day without an apple. <laughs> 